Oh, with that forecast, NDOT says its crews are preparing and keeping an eye on the roadways throughout the weekend. Some more long days. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Obeda joins us live out there in that very windy weather with more on how the roads are looking so far and what we can expect. Elizabeth? Well, with the storm filled winter that Northern Nevada saw this year, NDOT says they're very well prepared to take care of any storm problems that are coming, but they say that drivers need to go ahead and take some preventative measures as well. Be a little extra time if they're traveling on this weekend to account for any type of weather that there might be, whether it's snow or rain on the roadway, so that they can give themselves a little extra travel time and a little extra safety while they're on the road. Now, right now, the roadways aren't slick yet, but things won't stay that way through the weekend, so drivers do need to remember to slow down and leave an extra one to two seconds of following time between you and the next car. Now, drivers who plan on traveling up the mountain to head to Tahoe or California this weekend should be prepared for the worst, officials say. They say to bring snacks, blankets, and water just in case. They're also reminding you to carry your tire chains along for travel along I-80 and additional roads. Plan on... Kingsbury grade, 431 Mount Rose Highway, uh, the roads up to Virginia City, any of the mountain passes with an elevation above about 6,000 feet. Now to check the latest conditions on Nevada's roadways, you can just head to our website and click on the traffic tab. And also with rain, drivers should remember to keep on their headlights even throughout the daytime to make sure that other drivers can see you. Covering the story live on Rob Overpass Drive, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News. Mm. All right, Elizabeth, thanks so much. And in